back with Andrew Jackson. <laughs> what up? East Side Legend. <laughs> Where are we going today? Uh, we're going up JPL. Uh, this is JPL, the Jet Propulsion, Jet Propulsion Lab. Lab. Factory over there. Cool. And then we're going to go down Cheney, which is a really steep road. Alright, never been on this one, so <laughs> hopefully he's not taking me to my doom. <laughs> It'll be fun. That little girl went all the way up. Huh? I wonder if that little girl went all the way up. Oh, she it down. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably got her stop on right now. Take a piss at the top. Me too. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I got this chest cam on now. It's gonna be awkward. <laughs> I don't want to adjust the angle. Can you manual this thing? I always try. No, I never been on any of this. No, manual it. Oh, manual. I always try. I can't do it. I can't get caught. Oh, first time, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I shouldn't even said anything. <laughs> Beginner's love. <laughs> Just out here embarrassing myself. Huh? Just out here embarrassing myself. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna stay like this. I hope. <laughs> I'm alright. I feel like I was colder in the parking lot. I don't know. I, I told you I don't do the cold. I can't believe you did that first try. <laughs> Watch on the next 10 times I try, I won't be able to do it. <laughs> it's because I practice. Oh, yes. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm always practicing on the road bike. Yeah. And you jump on this, it's so much easier. Could not go out like that. I did at least get one. <laughs> Those dudes are going around. Oh no, actually they're not. They're just over here hating. I'm gonna say they're going the wrong way, but they're not. This should look kind of fun. Yeah. The other way. Oh, look, they got a little gap in it. Oh, that's just sketchy. <laughs> I, think it's just, I think it's supposed to be a gap, the trail just fell away. Yeah. Cool. the downhill Sorry. mountain bike way. Right. We're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, that looks like another wheel set broken. <laughs> Is that what you were riding? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was like a... Uh, 
was two miles high where I started. Oh and then where it was at? just like in Utah. Alba? Oh, Utah. And then it was just yeah, like a 10 mile single track. <laughs> just all the way down. It's nuts. So the thing's kind of rocky at the beginning, but it gets better. This part's going to be all crazy. Uh, I'll follow you. Yeah. <clears throat> Remind me to let some pressure out. When yeah. I get up there. I guess we got it for like. You can do it. The road. You can do it right here. Cause it's gonna get the beginning of this car is rocky. Like kind of like that kind of stuff. So if you want to do it, you might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some down right now. Go. This up here is better. All right. A little spot. <laughs> it is. I swear. You don't have to stop on the hill. Maybe take a pee now too. Yeah. Go for it. This is like. Hope that's flat up here. Before the climb starts. <clears throat> yeah, so like this is the way the mountain bike trail. Oh, we're going comes up out. that way? That's the mountain bike trail. This oh, okay. Is the, uh, yeah, that looks pretty hard to get up. Let's watch this guy come down. Yeah. The new GoPros are made to kill the gimbal, so. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. I saw that foot out. <laughs> get it. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sweet bike. Yeah. I think the fast guys like jump it. Like the pro oh, fast right. guys that are at it. Shit. Your brother? I, he doesn't even ride this. He's too pro. Or like, yeah, this is like cool. not even. Yeah, he really this won't. Is like I, told him, yeah, I told him to, and he's like, I'm not riding this. <laughs> Basically, what he said. What you said. Is there a chairlift up? No. Okay, <laughs> forget about it. Yeah, that's what he's like. It's not steep enough. It's too like, he, he, you know, it's like got pedaling all the way down. He's like, I'm. Yeah, I mean, once you're at that level and you're doing World Cup. Yeah, I think tracks, it's, I think you get kind of spoiled. Kind of lame. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. This is way better with lower pressure. Oh, I bet. Damn, that light's nice. Yeah. Oh, this is peaceful. Oh, I love this trip. This is like my go-to little loop right here. Stop and you fall backwards. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be all bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. 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 Go. Go. <laughs> you always got a chair squad out here. <laughs> Some of my fans, you know. <laughs> Got this. 
like we're on a tour stage right now <laughs> with the hecklers. Killed, yes, yeah. sir. Killed. He's wearing a kilt, huh? Yeah. It's <laughs> a turn into quite a trail. Did you plan all these people to come out here for this? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been busy. It was pretty dead. Like, I guess everywhere before quarantine. Like on these bikes without suspension, it's better. Yeah, I always like find it pretty <laughs> as low as possible, maybe a bit too low. Yeah. But you need that for the grip. Yeah. Especially when it's dry like this. And sandy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes it fun, but crashing is not fun either. <laughs> <laughs> The best part is almost crashing. Saving it. Saving it, but it's such a fine line between having the best time and the worst time. Yeah. Do you ever get close to crashing on your road bike or you're pretty like dialed? Um, or like you don't really not, push it's it? It's like so different than gravel because- That's what I mean. You either like, you just like 100% control and then suddenly yeah. you're gone. Yeah. Gravel, you're like sliding the whole time. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can feel it. That's what I meant. Do you ever like feel your wheels slide on a road bike? Sometimes, like if you hit a little weird little bit of gravel or something. That's sketchy. But like it's super sketchy. You never want to like feel that. <laughs> yeah, it's like far off. <laughs> and if it's your front wheel, you're pretty much done. Yeah. I find it pretty hard to like go from road to gravel. Definitely. I have so much trust on the road that the grip's there. And then on the gravel, I'm like, I don't know how far I can lean this push over it. or push it. Yeah. I um, feel like from racing motocross so long, I'm more comfortable on this stuff. Yeah, you grew up shredding dirt your whole life. Yeah, like the road is harder for me to learn. Yeah, you just gotta, it's just a trust issue. That you can really lean it at 30 degrees at 50 miles an hour. But sometimes it's good not to be too, too trusting. Yeah, definitely. Especially at road speeds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool on that. But I'm not that worried about it. I just try and just put the hours in. Yeah, it's so like anything, right? You just gotta practice it and like push yourself. Yeah, it's just time. Like months and years in the saddle. Yeah. 
That's what I gotta do now in the dirt. Yeah. To get to that level of confidence. Kind of reminds me of the Verdugo ride we did. Yeah. This climb. It's a little more technical though. Which I like. Yeah, it's narrower. Yeah. Kind of keeps it interesting. You have to actually think, you know? And there's lots of twists and turns. You don't get bored looking ahead. Thank you. So, if you don't mind, since we decided to film the climb, yeah. you want to tell people, like, a little bit about yourself? You grew up uh, racing motorbikes, right? And yeah. transitioned into BMX. You're just trying to make this really hard on me, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I grew up racing motocross. I got signed to Team Green when I was... 15, which was like the main Kawasaki amateur team, and so I was like full factory pro ride. And that must be crazy at 15 to have like such good equipment and support. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of pressure too, right? Yeah, that was the main thing. It took all the fun out of it because you're basically on like a program to turn pro, you know? Okay. So basically, at 15. I was training, you know, like a pro athlete. And, and you're trying to do school too? Kind of. I didn't really go to school. <laughs> Honestly, like when I got signed, All right. we were traveling so much that I like stopped going. I stopped going in the ninth grade and just traveled around and raced motocross. Pull up here for a sec. Cool. This is an awesome view. I just want to check it out. Yeah, sunset. This is why... We live in LA. Woo -hoo -hoo. Just that path that came up. What'd you say? Looks dope. Oh. Yeah, we're not too far. Missed the pedal. Okay. Good. So what <laughs> happened on your pro career as a uh, teenager? I 
I mean, I got hurt a ton riding dirt bikes like everyone does. But my last year, which was kind of like the year you need to win everything to get a good pro contract, the first national of the year, I ripped my kidney oh. apart from all the everything that was holding it. Oh my God. And I went into a coma for seven days. I was bleeding to death. The doctors told my family that there's a good chance I might die. Wow. Uh huh. It was like a six, eight month recovery from that. I ended up being okay after forever. Just not being able to walk, all that. And so I was good, but I missed my whole year. All right. That last year in amateurs. And sports, especially pro sports, I feel like are pretty competitive. So I had that full ride on Kawasaki. They kind of like dialed me back and still hooked me up with bikes, but I wasn't like on the program, on the program like I was before. And so I redid my last year in amateurs. I did good. I got some like top fives at nationals and won a couple of races, but that's not really what you need to do if you want a good pro contract. You need to kind of like dominate your last year. Wow. And so I got some offers, but nothing was very good. And I was kind of over it. My family was over it after I got hurt so bad. And after I didn't get a good offer, I think I did one pro race and I rode practice and then sold all my bikes and quit. Wow. <laughs> I was just done. I went home before the race even started. And um, that's when you were 16? Uh, I think I was 18. 18, okay. Because 17 was the year I missed. Oh, okay. And I planned on turning pro at 18. Right, right. Um, but yeah, then I went to school and I always rode bikes, but that was kind of all I did after that. And I think by like 19, I was getting hooked up by BMX company. And by 2021, I was pro for BMX. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Yeah. So you're doing street BMX? Uh, I ride, rode everything. I was actually the best at probably like dirt jumping. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I was never as much about tricks, like more style kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Like I wasn't like an X game backflip guy. Right. Um, but yeah, then I think I just started riding street and I rode a lot differently than a lot of people. I think probably because coming from racing motorcycles, I was more into like going fast, right. finding cool lines and that kind of thing. And yeah, I think it helped, it blew me up pretty quick. Do you do a lot of traveling as a BMXer? Yeah, I've been all over. I feel like, probably the same as you, I've been to like Israel, China, uh, all over Eastern Europe. You're saying Mexico? Yeah, Mexico, China times. I don't know, I've been all over. That's cool, man. Yeah, South Africa. Bunch yeah. Of this has been a life on two wheels. Yeah, you... I feel like it worked out because I wouldn't have got to do that if I was racing motocross. Yeah, it's a lot more like stringent and like a schedule. Yeah, as it would have just been. a motorcyclist and a BMX. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot like road cycling, just straight training, head down, going to races. You so, travel, but you don't even get to see anything or meet people. Practicing on the tracks, tweaking yeah. everything. Yeah, and like my day nice one. would be literally drive an hour to the track, three full out 20 minute intervals on my dirt bike blow it up and go home, and then maybe like a mountain bike in the evening. We got a bike behind us. Oh, okay. Come through. Yes. Use yeah. that motor. Oh, I was like, who's catching up? That doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, you need a pedaling. I was like, are we going that slow? <laughs> <laughs> So how did you get from BMX to where Road we are stuff? right now on gravel bikes? Um, hold on, I like to start. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see, I was kind of at the end of my pro contract slash career anyway. I've been a pro for like 10 years and um, 
I ruptured, not ruptured, I hurt my knee really bad. I like tore everything and I still have like the big scar going all the way down. And that kind of made it where I couldn't fall and jump off and do handrails and jump downstairs anymore. Uh -huh. So I was kind of like in a crossroads trying to figure out what to do. I kind of started like bull riding and doing that kind of stuff. Hey, isn't that worse if you fall from 20 feet in a bowl? Yeah, you just can't fall though. <laughs> like basically, no like for roads, you just don't fall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? Then I hurt my knee again after that. And my brother got me a road bike to rehab it. Okay. And it was pretty much the end of it from there. I sucked so bad and I didn't like that everybody could beat me. I was like, I've been riding BMX or bikes my whole life. Like, I can't be this bad. <laughs> so I just would practice all the time trying to get better. That's fine, because if I get on a BMX bike, I'm just like, I don't know what to do on this <laughs> thing. It feels so awkward. Yeah. It's always funny, because I can still go back to riding my motorcycle or BMX bike. And I think I'm honestly better than I am on road and gravel. But, you know, it's not what I like to do anymore. Yeah, once you figure out a bike and it kind of clicks, yeah, then you can always go back and yeah. spend a month getting into it and yeah, it comes back. And that too, like, I was so burnt out on BMX, like, I told you I traveled all over. Like, you know, what was I going to learn? Like, nothing was new. That's true, yeah. So then this was all, like, it was a way for me to, like, re, like, have that drive to get better and learn and that kind of thing. Well, you know better than me, but... I would think like BMX is a great way to explore like a city, an urban environment. Oh yeah. And this is a great way to just go a little bit outside of that. Yeah, especially street riding. Cause like, it's the same. You put in the time on a bike. Like I'd be on my bike, you know, four or five hours every day even on a BMX. Right. But yeah, so I've seen everything. And then on this, I can find the spot. I don't know. Cool. And you can go somewhere quiet. Which is yeah. kind of nice, I think, when you get older. Definitely. Just to have peace outside of the city environment. Yeah. And that's why LA's so nice. Yeah. You get to do both in the same day. Yeah. Now, are we going to be coming down here in the dark? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're almost at the top. I All just right, looked cool. up and I'm like, damn, we're almost there. We'll pull up at the top. I'm going to check, check the camera. Yeah. And then we'll... With the chit chat, get rowdy. He's still in road shoes, right? Always. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the Zero guys because they've been hooking me up. And they sent me. Ooh, geez. whoa. <laughs> Trying You're to good. You out. And they were, uh, they sent me a pair of gravel shoes. <laughs> I tried to wear them like once. And then they just sent me more road ones because they were like, we really want you. You know, if you're riding gravel, it'll be in our road shoes, or gravel shoes, and I was like, I'll try. And I feel like they just realized, and they're like, you know what, we'll just get your road shoes. I don't know, it's just like, easier to, to get back in once you're... Honestly, throw a foot out, but I don't even have a good reason, I think it's the white. The white? <laughs> yeah, because it was always baller for dirt bikes if you had the fresh white boots. Yeah. And I think I still stick to it because of that. If they have some fresh white gravel shoes, I'd probably be all about it. Hey, you make it work, dude. Same as Dermy. <laughs> you got the white road shoes. Yeah, too. yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Just don't fall, right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of good practice. I'm always unclipping just in case, but yeah. I feel like a lot of the time I don't have to. Yeah. And if you watch, like, the cross-country mountain bike dudes, yeah. They never unclip. Well, they're so good at technical stuff at speed. Yeah, my brother for downhill, uh -huh. they have it down to like an art. Like he'll unclip over a jump and take his foot off and clip back in in the air. Yeah. And like the way he can unclip and clip back in, I feel like if I could do that, maybe. Well, that on the platform clip in pedals. Yeah, it's a little safer, so if right? Like, you like don't you get it right in, at least you. Yeah. Not you gonna got, land on your balls. You got something there. <laughs> We're almost at the top now. This is 
This is an awesome trail, man. It's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Three out of three now. <laughs> Definitely a good guide on this side. <laughs> I'm picky. I've always been like picky about spots. I told you for BMX. I mean, that's LA. You can be super picky because there's so much to choose from. Yeah. And so much good stuff. Yeah. Top it's pretty dark in this section. Yeah. I wonder what it might be for the downhill. The picture looks like. I don't know if you want to like hit the segment or um, you don't really care. I don't care. It's up to you. It's probably mountain bikers anyway. Eh, it's usually good going down. All right, let me check it out. We well, might be dark by the bottom. You do whatever. I'll try to hang on. <laughs> I'll try to kill you. You ready? Yeah. How are we looking? It's intense, first time. <laughs> I know, I it's a, real, it's a really fun trail, dude. Yeah. I don't want to be like a dick and be that guy that's nah, like, oh, I'm about to flex my first time. I ever. dropped soft off. Yeah. No, it's a good pace. Yeah. It's exciting, that's for sure. I mean, we're not going slow. <laughs> Hell no, I know you got it, I know you got it. <laughs> Definitely took a couple of bad lines and <laughs> Dude, it's... It's a fun one though, huh? Yeah, dude, I just can't stop smiling. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Terrified and having a big smile on my face. That's what it's about. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. The water cut. The pro line right there. Sandy. <laughs> Yeah, that's tons of fun. This is a good pressure. I, I've 
super low, but it's, good. it's mostly sandy and slidey, yeah. so. Yeah. We did hit it a little bit late. Yeah. That's because I showed up late. Well, uh, we got to come back after the rain to get the whole thing. Yeah. And it's just grippy as hell. Yeah. I mean, it makes a huge difference. Okay. If you change tires, I just. No, nah, same. Same old. Yeah, this is like my go-to move, so I love it. I can see why. <laughs> That's what I was telling you though, my brother's like, it's not crazy enough for a mountain bike. You don't need a downhill bike for that. Yeah. You really don't though. No, nah, for Hard me this, tail, is, though. this is like the, just on the edge of being, yeah. needing a mountain bike, but. And it's pretty rough right now, like it's not always this rough. Definitely gravel bikeable. Yeah. Gravel bikeable. <laughs> uh, Although, you're gonna get 20 people in the comments telling you you have to get a mountain bike. Yeah, right. Even though you're faster than yeah, they want a gravel bike. I was about to say, bike. tell them to come out. <laughs> <laughs> tell them to come hang. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it, like, who cares? Like, yeah. most people I've ridden with my whole life, I'm just happy to have one bike. Yeah, And totally. like, if, if you can ride that, like, as many places as possible, that's cool. Like, you're still getting out. Yeah. And riding the wrong bike on the right terrain is sometimes more fun than riding the right bike. Yeah. And like, even like the, in BMX, I was never like, oh, I, told, I like, I'm a street rider. I don't ride dirt or I don't ride skate park because I ride street. It's like you could do whatever. If you're just good at riding your bike, you know, you can ride it on whatever. Yeah, I'm down to ride anything. I'll take an e-bike. Yeah, exactly. Like you can ride a mountain bike on the road if you want. Yeah. Oh, you could sit at home. Yeah, well, I mean, you too it. <laughs> Damn. You reckon on a dual suspension, that would be a fun wall ride <laughs> coming down here. <laughs> Armchair quarterback. So that road. I can see a car so, on it. So, Mount Low, that okay. top peak is where this road comes down. See it's, it back there? It's sealed all the way or? Like this. What? Yeah, you would and kill I it. I ain't never done it. Yeah, you would kill it. I'm coming back. I think you can, well, you'd want to hit it that way. But yeah. A road bike? Oh, yeah, I'm. It's a blast down here. You gotta like, or maybe you wouldn't have to. I was like, you need to learn it, but maybe you just got it like that. <laughs> I mean. Just gotta go for it and see. I was gonna say. I never like look, Google Maps. I never look at my times. Like I never look at the times. Yeah, yeah. Before I go up, I just ride it. See where you're at. And then at the end, you're like, okay, I have a lot of work to do here. Yeah, or like, oh, yeah. I'm on, I almost got it first time. That's how I'm on this one right here. We're about to go down. I didn't even know, and I was like, oh, I'm like, two seconds off on my gravel bike. Time to go back. <laughs> Dark. I think it's gonna be really dark. Yeah, we could not Oof. send it, send it there. No, I don't mind for riding, I'm just saying for the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's super dark. Yeah, we're chilling. No, really? Okay. No, I don't want a light on. I'm trying to get it. No, it'll mess it up. But let me pause up here. Cool, this is it. Because I ain't seeing very much at all. Yeah, this is it. Damn, you're crazy. That was dope. I gotta stop it. Change the settings. I told you this is like, this side Deer Creek is this road right here. It's the exact same. Shit. Rough for you. got me worried. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, it's fun though. Me too. too. Alright. I think I met that guy before. Oh, yeah, people always also like, how come you don't have the verbal exposure? I'm like, well, that's what we ride in. It's like, this is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Under <laughs> the shadows is a star. Yeah. And I feel like nobody that knows what they're doing does variable exposure on the camera. <laughs> the crazy one. Huh? I think that was scarier than the dirt. It's terrifying, huh? Dude. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not easy your first time in the dark. <laughs> I, mean, I have glasses on and my eyes are like, ah! yeah. yeah. It's so scary like to try to really get it though because you can't break from that top turn all the way through that bottom part and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Just like death grip holding on. Genu genuinely worried that my tire would roll. Oh, because you let out your pressure? Low, so yeah. I've done that before. <laughs> you rolled it on that? No, no, just let out like oh. too much pressure at the top and I know it's, when it folds, you can feel it like flexing.
I can just get that part over with. <laughs> technically ran it twice. <clears throat> My homie did this rail back in the day on a BMX. What? Pretty nuts. Is that a railway? What? Started at the top and then grinded the whole thing. But there's not even like a scar. It's slow sketchy. Two pedals and one pedal. Yeah. I remember it was like one of those where we all like tackled him after, like, yeah! <laughs> like he did it first try too. Right. Yeah. yeah. I can't even imagine how to do something like that. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I can't imagine that either. It's nuts. <laughs> That's a big rail. Then just straight here. And then I think it's right at this light. Oh, I see. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I always look at that, I never hit it. Uh -huh. I always look at that and I never hit it. It's pretty bumpy. Yeah. This thing, it's supposed to switch. Is it red or green or white? Nothing. Nothing? White? White. It's better than nothing. I have, no, it switches, what? Yeah, it went, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> My wheelie game is so strong today. I saw you earlier. I'm doing mangoes behind you. Just, draft, just, just drafting in a wheelie? That's ridiculous. Some days just... I don't got it like that on this way. Hold on, I need, I need to be filming this. I'm blowing. You missed the first 30 seconds. We'll get another one. I won't put you out there like that. He's been going like this for like five minutes. <laughs> At least an hour. <laughs> oh, let's see the speed. Huh? Where are we at? Are we going to a dead <laughs> end? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm trying to get the manuals going. I know, I, I need to learn it. Uh, I think left, I never come this way. Left and then right, yeah left, and then right in this little cut. Oh, this is a good road for manuals. That one? Right, oh, I don't know, yeah and then go through like, don't hit this chain but go in there. Huh? Go in there, like behind us. No way. <laughs> 